In week two of our Going Deep series, CAA football visits UAlbany. Over the last four decades, Bob Ford has dedicated his life to Great Danes football, the Capital District, and both his personal family and an extended family of thousands of current and former players. When we walk off the field after each and every ball game, I want people to say two things. One, that was a class outfit, and two, they battled hard. When you go out and you see these highly aggressive people that are moving at a very fast level at a very violent game, and then at the end of the practice or at the end of the game, they're gentlemen and they understand what their roles are and they're making a significant contribution to the uh, community. That's something that only Bob Ford and a few other people can do. The coach spoke, everybody listened, and we believed in him. And, uh, you know, not just uh, football skills, he teaches you lifetime skills. The wisdom that he can instill in, in kids our age and young men our age, and, you know, it's unbelievable what he can teach us. He's an ambassador, not just for you, Albany, but all of higher education and all of intercollegiate athletics. And we're very fortunate to have him. I'm very fortunate to have worked with him. Family's going to come first. And I think we tried to create that feeling with the squad that the family, the football team, is the most important thing. I mean, this has been our family for a long time around here at, at UAlbany and the Great Danes. When we say purple family, you know, we try to instill in the kids to live it. Reputation of a lot of coaches here. Most of them uh, did very, very well in a very, very competitive profession and I think uh, gave the University at Albany a pretty good name. Uh, coaching is definitely something that I definitely want to get into after, after being around him and just, just seeing his, his approach with the game. He just has a lot of fun. And just the, the way he was as a person and, and, a, and a human being, I said, you know, that's something that I would like to do is to have an impact, a positive impact on young people. And because of coach, I got into coaching. From the pros right on down to the high school. You go to their programs and you're going to see some of the same things, which is beautiful. Wouldn't dare to mention, know the number of people that he really has influenced because of the chain reaction of how that works. Like Babe Ruth, the house that Ruth built, this is the house that Coach built. You know, everybody was talking about the new stadium. The whole thing was, Bob Ford's name better be on that stadium somewhere. They don't name a stadium after you've been here five years. So it's got to be an extended period of time, and you've had to have a, a fair amount of success during that period as well. Coach Ford and the program and the university have deserved a new stadium for a long time, and we're so happy that we finally got a new home. Definitely a blessing for us to finally get this, and you know, just, just, just for Coach Ford, you know, just to you know, see the look on his face when we, know, we uh, finally stepped out on there, looking up at the scoreboard. And it's going to have a lasting legacy, not just because it's Bob Ford, but because of the ideals and the values that he stands for. Integrity, character, discipline, uh, the ability to do things the right way. Uh, we call it the Bob Ford way and the UAlbany way, and that's what this name will mean for years and years to come. This became uh, my project, my, uh, my child that I was raising, the uh, University at Albany football program. The next thing you know, 43 years have gone by. I mean, he started this on the ground floor. So from club to where he is now, you know, this has been his baby. This has been his whole life. We live football. We really do. We love it. And um, it's, it's our life. It's going to be a little different next year with him not coaching. But of course, we'll still be part of the Albany family. Always will be. I think I'll feel him more at the end of the season. I promised myself that we're going to play these 12 games as hard as we possibly can. I'll say one thing, the fact that he, that he decided to retire this year, the letters that have come in to him, um, every day there's more and more and more coming in and every single one of those letters is just saying what an impact he had made on people's lives. Mark, what are you doing, Owen? I promised you guys a stadium, I just didn't say you are playing. I know, yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> basically just teach us, do what's right you know, and treat people the way you want to be treated. It's not how good you play, it's how good you are. And no one will be able to touch what he's done for this program or, or any program. I think it's important that people recognize that he's won a lot of games and he's well respected in football and in collegiate athletics, but he's even more respected in the community. I would hope that people would say he was a, a class act and uh, he did it the right way. 
Bob Ford's legacy transcends the stadium that now bears his name. It is ingrained in the UAlbany culture, the Capital District community, and in a sport in which he has meant so much to so many. Visit CAAFootball.com and CAAFootball.wordpress.com for upcoming Going Deep features and other on-campus coverage which the league will present as it visits all 11 league schools this fall.